Hi, I'm Tim Bowling, Director of Chemical Sales for Mighty Auto Parts. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at our diesel fuel and EGR cleaning machine. We're going to go through the features and the benefits and the step-by-step -step operation of this unit. Hey, let's get started. Our first step is to identify the year, make, model, and engine size of the vehicle. This will determine which fittings and adapters are required to perform the service. Next, disconnect the fuel supply line before it reaches the fuel injector pump. You'll find this under the driver's side wheel well. Connect the required adapters to the fuel supply line and the return line. The return line returns the fuel back to the fuel tank. Be sure to check for the proper adapters and fittings for the vehicle you're servicing. Now, from the fuel side of the DFS 910 machine, we'll attach the blue hose to the supply line and the black hose to the return line. Now, on those original fuel lines located underneath the wheel well, Use the loop hose adapters and the loop hose to feed fuel back into the fuel tank. Next, we'll fill the machine with the approved Mighty Fuel Rail Cleaner into the tank with the blue cap. We'll use one liter or quart for three quarter and one ton diesel engines and two liters or quarts for larger diesel engines. Most importantly, do not mix the fluids as this could cause engine failure. First, make sure the power is off on the DFS 910 and the pump pressure valve is set to minimum. Then, connect the 12 volt power supply to the vehicle's battery. Turn the machine on and check the hookups for any leaks. Now adjust the flow valve on the machine, maximum to increase, minimum to decrease, until the pressure is between 6 and 10 PSI. Next, set the alarm and the timer to just over 20 minutes. If the vehicle's engine is equipped with EGR DPF, hook up the induction adapters and then remove the EGR exhaust pipe temperature sensor. Now, take the sensor and place it in a small jar containing mighty diesel air induction cleaning solution. Let the temperature sensor soak while we perform the rest of the service. Next, we'll attach the required adapters. In this case, it's part number DFS910-2, the Ford Cummins exhaust adapter. Now attach the induction sprayer, part number DFS910-5, to that exhaust adapter. Then we'll attach the blue and the black hoses from the atomizer side of the DFS910 machine to the induction sprayer, being certain the air valve on the induction sprayer is closed before hooking up the black and blue hoses. Then fill the tank with the aluminum cap marked air induction cleaner only with Mighty Diesel Air Induction Cleaning Solution. We'll use 2 liters or quarts for 3 quarter ton and 1 ton engines and 4 liters or quarts for larger diesel engines. Use only approved fuel rail cleaner. 1 liter or quart for 3 quarter ton or 1 ton diesel engines 
and 2 liters or quarts for larger diesel engines. Again, use extreme caution to not mix the fluids as this can result in engine failure. Now, start the engine and let it idle. Then we'll set the air pressure on the atomizer tank to 40 PSI. We'll open the air valve on the induction sprayer and turn the atomizer to on. Air induction will now be spraying out of the DFS 910-2 adapter into the EGR valve. Continue until one liter or cord is used and then disconnect the wire connector on the EGR valve. Run the remaining induction fluid through the EGR cooler. We'll run the atomizer until the fluid tank is emptied. After the service is complete, turn the atomizer valve on the machine and the air valve on the induction sprayer to its off or close position. Then turn the vehicle off. The rule here is the vehicle's engine should always be running whenever the atomizer valve is on. Turn the machine's fuel pump off and disconnect the power supply from the battery. Disconnect the fuel hoses and adapters and reattach the fuel lines. Remove the Cummins exhaust tool and reattach the EGR electronic solenoid and the exhaust pipe temperature sensor. Remove the fuel line adapters and reattach the fuel lines. Then, start the vehicle and check for leaks and road test the vehicle. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, don't get overwhelmed. You just need to keep these steps in mind. All hookups follow these steps along with two rules. It's just a matter of which adapters and fittings you use within the steps. Rule 1. With all procedures, first hook up the fuel lines. Prepare the machine with the proper fluids. Now here is our first rule. Never mix the fluids or place in the wrong tanks. This can cause engine failure. If there is ever a doubt, drain the tanks and start over. Hook up the induction sprayer. Hook up battery terminal. Start vehicle. Here's rule two. The vehicle's engine should always be running whenever the atomizer valve is on. Turn on the DFS 910 machine and check for leaks. Run half a tank. Modify the atomizer. Run the rest of the tank. Disconnect and reassemble. Check for leaks and road test the vehicle. Again, follow these steps with each service. When working with the Cummins 6.7 liter 2500 and 3500 engines, after you hook up the fuel lines, hoses and adapters and prepare the DFS 910 machine with the proper amount of fluids, remove the plastic engine cover. For this procedure, we will be using the Cummins EGR manual opener, the S-hook sprayer, the Cummins exhaust tool and the induction sprayer. Remove the exhaust pipe from the EGR valve. Attach the Cummins exhaust tool, part number DFS 910 4, to the EGR exhaust pipe with the clamp. Remove the EGR electronic solenoid and attach the Cummins EGR manual opener part number DFS 910-9.
Attach the blue atomizer hose from the DFS 910 to the S-hook sprayer and place it inside the open EGR valve. Attach the induction sprayer to the Cummins exhaust tool, making sure the air valve is closed. Now go ahead and start the engine. Remember the engine should be running whenever the atomizer valve is on. Set the air pressure on the atomizer tank to 40 psi and turn the atomizer on. After using about two liters or quarts, turn the atomizer off and remove the S-hook sprayer from the EGR valve and disconnect the hose. Connect the blue and black hoses to the induction sprayer to clean the EGR cooler. Turn the atomizer on and open the air valve on the induction sprayer. And let the machine run until the atomizer tank is empty. With the service complete, turn the atomizer valve off and close the air valve on the induction sprayer. Turn the vehicle off and turn the fuel pump off on the machine. Disconnect the fuel hoses and adapters. Remove the Cummins exhaust tool and reattach the EGR electronic solenoid, the EGR exhaust pipe, fuel lines, and the plastic engine cover. Check for leaks and, of course, road test the vehicle. All right. At this point, we have attached the fuel line hoses and adapters, and we prepare the machine with the proper fluids with caution not to mix the fluids, as this may result in engine failure. We started the vehicle and checked for leaks. For this engine, we'll be using the Ford Cummins exhaust adapter, the S-hook nozzle, and the induction sprayer. First, let's remove the temperature sensor on the EGR cooler. Place the sensor in a small jar with some mighty diesel air induction cleaning solution. Let the temperature sensor soak while you perform the rest of the service. Then install the Ford Cummins exhaust adapter to the EGR cooler. Then, we'll need to remove the large induction tube. Then, we'll attach the induction sprayer to the exhaust adapter, making sure the air valve is closed. Then, using the blue atomizer hose, attach it to the S-hook sprayer and place it in the induction tube. We'll set the air pressure on the atomizer to 40 psi, and then we'll start the vehicle's engine, remembering the rule of never turning the atomizer valve to on without the vehicle running. Turn the atomizer to on. After about two liters or quarts, turn the atomizer to off and remove the S-hook sprayer from the induction tube and disconnect the blue atomizer hose. Attach the blue and black atomizer hoses to the induction sprayer and make sure you open the valve on the induction sprayer. We'll then turn the atomizer valve to on and run the DFS 910 machine until the atomizer tank is empty. After the service is complete, turn the atomizer valve to off, then go ahead and turn the vehicle off. We'll turn the fuel pump off on the DFS 910 and then we'll disconnect the fuel hoses and the adapters. Reattach the EGR temperature sensor. Reconnect the fuel lines 
and reattach the induction tube. Then we'll start the vehicle and check for leaks. And finally, road test the vehicle. All right, at this point, we have already attached the fuel line hoses and adapters. We've removed the plastic engine cover and we've prepared the machine with the proper fluids using extreme caution not to mix the fluids as this may result in engine failure. We started the vehicle and checked for leaks. With the Ford 6-liter engine, we'll be using the DFS 910-1 Ford EGR adapter and the DFS 910-5 the induction sprayer. We'll first remove the EGR valve by removing the two bolts. After you remove the EGR valve, install the Ford EGR adapter. Then attach the induction sprayer to the Ford EGR adapter, making sure both valves are in the off position. With the hookup complete, turn the valve on the EGR adapter to intake. Set the air pressure on the atomizer to 40 PSI. Start the engine. On the DFS 910, turn the atomizer valve to on and open the air valve on the induction sprayer. After running for about a liter or quart, turn the valve on the EGR adapter to exhaust. Then, run the machine until the tank is empty. With the service complete, turn the valve on the atomizer to off. Turn the vehicle off. Turn the machine's fuel pump off. Disconnect the fuel hoses and adapters. Reattach the EGR valve and fuel lines. Start the vehicle and check for leaks, and then road test the vehicle. Pretty simple and straightforward, isn't it? Now you can feel confident in offering that service to your customer. For more information, contact your local Mighty representative or visit MightyAutoParts.com. Thanks.